Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I am Luke. Welcome to Olympus, home of Tone in Malta. We're not here necessarily to discuss this incredibly hot looking <laughs> git fiddle, Indeed. Yep. but your hands touch it and sort of fall off. It's like a slippery, it's almost frictionless. Yep. <laughs> You might have noticed behind us the red sound wall. Exactly. And you may have noticed besides me, Luke Grek. Uh, I'm going to sing Luke's praises for just a few seconds. Mini John Lennon <laughs> is <laughs> one of Malta's top session guitar players. <laughs> He's on TV more than I have hot dinners. <laughs> he plays in every kind of session I've ever known. It, it, loads of like big band stuff, corporate events, weddings. You do all sorts exactly. of things. And Luke predominantly uses... Um, a Line 6 Helix. Yes. The floor unit. Um, which is has been a lifesaver for me, honestly, because when you're doing lots of uh, small to medium-sized gigs and you need... Uh, you have a pre-planned set list, either following score or maybe not, but you have to have sounds at the go, ready for when your set list is boom, 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 one song right after another. Um, and so, yes, it's here at my feet. Yes, and the video is not about the Helix. No. If you are in the world, like my buddy Luke or my buddy Rabia, where you need to do gigs um, and you can't bring a valve amp, a tube amp, you want to bring either a Helix or a Kemper yes. or what else is like that? Um, fractal, um, neural DSP, the quad cortex. Yeah. Um, there are loads of things. Yes. Then maybe you might need something that I used in my first ever rig. Okay. My first ever rig was a Marshall preamp. I see. An old one, sounded great. And I had a powered, a pair of powered 1x12 um, speakers. Yes. This isn't a 1x12, but it is a powered speaker it's a very high-end boutique italian brand yes. called red sound ironically none of them are red exactly <laughs> and this is a 200 watt frfr 10 inch speaker and 10 inch, well. yeah 10 inch speaker the exact model is so we will not get misquoted an rs mf 10 yes so uh it's essentially a pa for a guitarist because exactly. i mean you normally just plug your helix straight into a pa don't you? exactly but there are some occasions where i would actually need to have some form of monitoring on stage yes so this is where this little bad boy comes in so this why is it useful to have your own frfr cab because let's say you have your processor your guitar floor processor um, plugged in, going to the PA, and you want some on-stage volume to feel like you have an on-stage amp. That is where this comes in, which is lightweight and can actually give you what the Helix is, uh, or any other processor, giving out, but only to you. You're mm. not getting a mix of the other um, band members, but you're getting your own sound. Mm. So that is basically what it's for. And because it's a power amp, mm -hmm. 200 watts, you could literally get one of these, get a bunch of nice pedals, and they become your preamp, and you've got an entire rig with your one little box and then whatever you want to add on top. Exactly. So it's kind of cool. I mean, I, I delved into the planet, the world of non-valve amplifiers, and kind of went, it's mm. not, not, that was a bit of Leanderton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's mm. not quite no. me, it's not quite me yet, but I think, I think I'm gradually looking forward to the world of racks again, and then that kind of thing. Yes, the rack format stuff. I rack think is it's back, back, baby. Yeah, yeah, rack is back. Um, but if I was in that world, I think Red Sound would be right up for me. They're boutique, handmade, Italian, finessed. There are all sorts of beautiful little bits of uh, design. Yep. How would you describe it if you had like two sentences to describe what this is? How would you say it? Mirrors your uh, processor in the best way possible in a very portable 
and lightweight package, honestly. How would you say that in Italian? Questo amplificatore è un uh, incredibile scatola nera che è molto rumorosa e lui è una scimmia pelosa. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but I'm sure it was great. <laughs> it's good to have a multilinguistic uh, team, team buddy in, in here. So look, um, we, got, we made a chap patch because I'm not really familiar with the Helix. Luke uses it all the time. So I've got this like ridiculous. <laughs> explain the helix chain to the viewers? Well, I was going to say we should explain the helix chain to the viewers. I could not agree more. The amp model is obviously what the helix provides. It's actually a placater model, um, which is... Oh, from memory, after... that's the Friedman, isn't it? Exactly, it is the Friedman BE100 um, amp in a helix package. Also, we've got a, uh, a little bit of reverb, a 63 spring reverb, and uh, a normal stay or delay here in the... Also, I am not using the stock uh, cabinet IR. I have one by Celestian, 4x12 <coughs> Celestian Greenback oh. um, IR cabinet installed because you can actually download them and load them in and you have the goodness of the Helix amp model and the goodness of the Celestian. Yeah. So it's probably quite important to say cab sim makes a massive difference it to an FRFR. I mean, it's a musical chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. <laughs> It is, like, it is like the chameleon. It is like the chameleon. It can be any sounding cab you want it to be. Yes. Did you want a 200 watt anything? That's the red sound. Could you play something Italian since this is an Italian? <laughs> Sounds great. What about, have you got any patches on here that you use for like clean work and yes. bluesy things? It's pretty difficult to demonstrate a cab, as you it's can true. imagine, because yeah. look, here it is. It's making the sounds that you're listening to, but it just mimics anything you give it. Yes. It's a PA for your guitar. So it's a practical solution, Yes. but not something that is easy to go, look, here's how it sounds. Here, you know, yes. I can show you how it looks. Funny you should mention a cab, because actually the model right next to it, although it looks identical, it's actually a passive version. So it's a house and it's a passive cabin, basically, for the active version mm. of it standing right beside it. Yes. So if you were looking for a 200 watt powered um, speaker and you lived anywhere in Malta or somewhere that we could ship to, yes, I'd recommend Red Sound. Check it out. Make yourself a little pedal board or use your dirty digital preamp stuff. Yep. <sighs> And then um, you can be loud and proud. Yes, you can. With, uh, did you did you know uh, that Italian? Who's that Italian guy that uses this stuff? Yes, in fact, he is um, quite well known here with, amongst the Maltese musicians. His, his, this guy is called Luca Colombo. He's a very very talented uh, session musician and session guitarist in Italy, who uh, has now been actually very familiar with the Helix. He's using his Helix quite a lot and is powering them up with a pair of. Um, a different model, but two smaller sized red sound uh, active speakers. Yeah, and yeah. the reason he's using two, because he's <coughs> using his rig in stereo. So he has stereo monitoring for his Helix. I think the one thing for me that really showed off the incredible Italian attention to detail on the design of these yes. cabs uh -huh. was that they have a screw flap. Yep. I'm just going to show you the screw flap right now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your first ever view, close up, of a screw flap. Yep. And on that note, I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been Luke. Take it easy.